List of battery sizes. This article lists the sizes, shapes, and general characteristics of some common primary and secondary battery types in household and light industrial use. A battery may consist of a single cell, or two or more cells in a single package. The long history of disposable dry cells means that many different manufacturers specific and national standards were used to designate sizes, long before international standards were agreed upon. Technical standards for battery sizes and types are published by standards organizations such as International Electrotechnical Commission IEC, and American National Standards Institute ANSI. Many popular sizes are still referred to by old standard or manufacturer designations, and some non-systematic designations have been included in current international standards due to wide use. The complete nomenclature for the battery will fully specify the size, chemistry, terminal arrangements and special characteristics of a battery. The same physically interchangeable cell size or battery size may have widely different characteristics. Physical interchangeability is not the sole factor in substitution of batteries. Standardization The current IEC standards for portable primary, non-rechargeable, batteries bear the 60086 number. The relevant U.S. standards are the ANSIC 18 series, which are developed by a committee of the U.S. National Electrical Manufacturers Association NEMA. Both standards have several parts covering general principles, physical specifications and safety. Designations by IEC and ANSI standards do not entirely agree, although harmonization is in progress. Manufacturers further have their own systematic identification of cell types, so cross-reference tables are useful to identify equivalent types from different manufacturers. Non-standard brand specific names Manufacturers may assign proprietary names and numbers to their batteries, disregarding common, colloquial, IEC, and ANSI naming conventions, CLR44 battery as an example. Often this is done to steer customers towards a specific brand, and away from competing or generic brands, by obfuscating the common name. For example, if a remote control needs a new battery and the battery compartment is the label, Replace with CX472 type battery, many customers will buy that specific brand, not realizing that this is simply a brand name for a common type of battery. For example, British Standard U series batteries were often sold under manufacturer prefixes such as C, SP, HP, etc. Ever Ready sold U2, D, batteries as SP2, Standard Duty Zinc Carbon, and HP2, Heavy Duty Zinc Chloride. On the other hand, with obscure battery types the designation assigned by a specific brand will sometimes become the most common name for that battery type, as other manufacturers copy or modify the name so that customers recognize it. Battery Chemistry The terminal voltage of a battery cell depends on the chemicals and materials used in its construction, and not on its physical size. For example, primary, non-rechargeable, Alkaline batteries have a nominal voltage of 1.5 volts. Rechargeable NiCd, nickel cadmium, and NiMH, nickel metal hydride, typically output 1.25 volts per cell. Devices intended for use with primary batteries may not operate properly with these cells, given the reduction in voltage. Mercury batteries, no longer common, had stable cell terminal voltages around 1.35 volts. Dry Lechlinch, Carbon Zinc, Alkaline and Lithium batteries are the most common modern types. From the late 1940s until the mid-1990s, mercury batteries were made in many consumer and industrial sizes, but are no longer available since careless disposal can release toxic mercury into the environment. The full battery designation identifies not only the size, shape and terminal layout of the battery but also the chemistry, and therefore the voltage per cell and the number of cells in the battery. For example, a CL123 battery is always Li MnO2, lithium chemistry, in addition to its unique size. The following tables give the common battery chemistries for the current common sizes of batteries. 
see battery chemistries for a list of other electrochemical systems. Physical interchangeability Cylindrical cells typically have a positive terminal nub at one end, and a flat negative terminal at the other. A cell with a nub on the positive terminal is called a button top, and a cell without a positive nub is called a flat top. Two different cells of the same nominal size, for example two 18,650 cells, may have different diameter buttons if made by different manufacturers, and this can lead to incompatibility with devices. Flat top cells cannot be used in series without modification or soldering into position, because the flat positive terminal of one cell cannot contact with the next cell's negative terminal. Rarely however, a manufacturer may include tiny bumps on the negative terminal to allow flat tops to be used in series. It is important to check the battery contacts in a device before attempting to install cells, because some will not work with flat tops or with button tops whose buttons are the wrong diameter. Some devices have a small bump or spring where the positive terminal of the cell connects, and this allows the use of either button or flat top cells. Other devices have a flat area that can only be contacted by a button top. In order to prevent damage if a cell is inserted in reverse, some devices have a raised plastic ring around the positive contact. This stops the flat negative end of a cell from making connection accidentally, and also stops the positive end of a flat top or of a button top with too large a button from connecting. Common battery sizes Cylindrical cells These are all single cell round batteries with height greater than their diameter. In zinc carbon or alkaline types they produce around 1.5 volts per cell when fresh. Other types produce other voltages per cell, as low as 1.2 volts for rechargeable nickel cadmium, up to around 3 volts for lithium manganese dioxide. The cylindrical form has a positive nub terminal at the cap of the cell, and the negative terminal at the bottom of the can. The side of the can is not used as a terminal. Non-cylindrical batteries Less common batteries These types are not as likely to be found in consumer applications and may be specialized for photographic, instrumentation or other purposes. Some cell sizes are used only as elements of multi-cell batteries. Cylindrical single cell These are all single cell round batteries with a height greater than their diameter. In carbon zinc or alkaline types they produce around 1.5 volts per cell when fresh. Other types produce other voltages per cell, as low as 1.2 volts for rechargeable nickel cadmium, up to around 3 volts for lithium manganese dioxide. The cylindrical form has a positive nub terminal at the cap of the cell, and the negative terminal at the bottom of the can. The side of the can is not used as a terminal when these cells are sold as individual units for consumer use. PP series The PP, Power Pack, series was manufactured by EverReady in the UK, EverReady in the US. The series comprised multi-cell carbon zinc batteries used for portable electronic devices. Most sizes are uncommon today, however the PP3 size, and to a lesser extent PP9, which is used in marine applications, is readily available. All types were rectangular, except the cylindrical PP4, and most had snap terminals as seen on the common PP3 type. Camera Cell Batteries Digital and film cameras often use specialized primary batteries to produce a compact product. Flashlights and portable electronic devices may also use these types. But can cells, coin, watch, micro, miniature, lithium cells. Coin-shaped cells are thin compared to their diameter. Polarity is usually stamped on the metal casing. The IEC prefix Cr denotes lithium manganese dioxide chemistry. Since lithium NO2 cells produce 3 volts there are no widely available alternative chemistries for a lithium coin battery. The Br prefix indicates a round lithium carbon monofluoride cell. See lithium battery for discussion of the different performance characteristics. One lithium NO2 cell can replace two alkaline or silver oxide cells. 
IEC designation numbers indicate the physical dimensions of the cylindrical cell. Cells less than 1 cm in height are assigned four-digit numbers, where the first two digits are the diameter in millimeters, while the last two digits are the height in tenths of millimeters. Taller cells are assigned five-digit numbers, where the first two digits are the diameter in millimeters, followed by the last three digits indicating the height in tenths of millimeters. All these lithium cells are rated nominally 3 volts, on load, with open circuit voltage about 3.6 volts. Manufacturers may have their own part numbers for IEC standard size cells. The capacity listed is for a constant resistance discharge down to 2.0 volts per cell. Silver oxide and alkaline cells SRLRSGAG button cells IEC SR series batteries use silver oxide chemistry and provide 1.55 volts, while IEC LR series batteries use alkaline chemistry and provide 1.5 volts. Similarly, SG prefix batteries are the silver oxide chemistry version of the alkaline AG prefix. Since there are no common names beyond the AG designation, many vendors use these four designations interchangeably for the same size cell, and they will all fit and work. The functional difference is that silver oxide chemistry typically has 50% greater capacity than alkaline chemistry, and usually a flat discharge characteristic, constant voltage, while the voltage of an alkaline battery steadily decreases with use. The capacity of a silver battery may be as much as twice that of an alkaline. For devices which require a steady voltage such as photographic light meters and those which fail to operate below a certain voltage, some digital calipers do not work below 1.38 V, a silver cell with flat discharge characteristic is preferable. Alkaline batteries are usually cheaper than silver oxide equivalents. Inexpensive devices are sometimes supplied fitted with alkaline batteries, although they would benefit from the use of silver oxide batteries. Exhausted silver oxide cells are often recycled to recover their precious metal content whereas depleted alkaline cells are discarded with household trash or recycled, depending on the local practices. Round button cells have heights less than their diameter. The metal can is the positive terminal, and the cap is the negative terminal. Button cells are commonly used in electric watches, clocks, and timers. IEC batteries that meet the International IEC 60086-3 standard for watch batteries carry a W suffix. Other uses include calculators, laser pointers, toys, LED blinkies, and novelties. IEC designation numbers indicate the physical dimensions of the cylindrical cell. Cells less than 1 cm in height are assigned four-digit numbers, where the first two digits are the diameter in millimeters, while the last two digits are the height in tenths of millimeters. Taller cells are assigned five-digit numbers, where the first two digits are the diameter in millimeters, followed by the last three digits indicating the height in tenths of millimeters. Sizes are shown for the silver oxide IEC number. Types and capacity are identified as L for alkaline and S for silver oxide. In some cases, sizes which originally were distinct are now considered interchangeable. For example, the 189-389 cell is 3.1 mm high and was designated 1131, while the 190-390 size is 3.0 mm high and was designated 1130, but these sizes are now considered equivalent. Zinc Air Cells Hearing Aid Miniature zinc air batteries are button cells that use oxygen in air as a reactant and have very high capacity for their size. Each cell needs around 1 cubic centimeter of air per minute at a 10 MA discharge rate. These cells are commonly used in hearing aids. A sealing tab keeps air out of the cell in storage. A few weeks after breaking the seal the electrolyte will dry out and the battery becomes unusable, regardless of use. Nominal voltage on discharge is 1.2 volts. Cylindrical lithium-ion rechargeable Lithium-ion rechargeable batteries are generally not interchangeable with primary types using different chemistry, although certain sizes of lithium primary cells do have lithium-ion rechargeable equivalents. 
Most rechargeable cylindrical cells use a chemistry with a nominal voltage around 3.7 volts, but leaf APO4 cells produce only 3.2 volts. Lithium ion cells are made in various sizes, often assembled into packs for portable equipment. Many types are also available with an internal protection circuit to prevent over discharge and short circuit damage. This can increase their physical length. For example, an 18,650 is around 65 mm, 2.6 inches, long, but may be around 68 mm, 2.7 inches, long with an internal protection circuit. Safe and economic recharging requires use of chargers specified for these cells. Popular applications include laptop battery packs, telephones, electronic cigarettes, flashlights and cordless power tools. Commonly used designation numbers indicate the physical dimensions of the cylindrical cell, in a way similar to the system used for lithium button primary cells. The larger rechargeable cells are typically assigned five-digit numbers, where the first two digits are the approximate diameter in millimeters, followed by the last three digits indicating the approximate height in tenths of millimeters.